Damn, son, where'd you find this? It's amazing what you find sometime. Man, I'm really hanging for a burger after all that drinking, Tom. I don't know about that, Don. It's late. Real late. And besides, don't you got that Virginia dame upstairs waiting for you? Say I don't care. Say my stomach's rumbling so bad, all I can do is think about that processed meat and cheese. Besides, Virginia's gone to bed. She can't stand me up past midnight these days. All right. But you're on your own this time, pal. The people up to no good tonight. Thugs afoot. Smell them in the air. I ain't afraid of no thugs. Just let him go. He's on the move, Walter. The beginning of the end was when she walked in my front door. Good evening, detective. Indeed it is. What can I do for a dollface? My boyfriend's gone missing. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a problem. Sounds like a solution. I need to find him, detective, and I need to find him now. Now are you the man for the job? Because I hear you're the best in the business. Well, you've heard right. I am the best in the business. In fact, I'm the best at many other things, too. He was last seen at the house with Tony. Hmm. Now what are you going to do about it? Hmm. Well, first I'm going to take you out to dinner. And then, if you still want me to find your boyfriend, I'll think about it. Thanks for dinner, detective. Now I trust you'll find him. Oh, wait a minute. I never caught your name. Virginia. Virginia Summers. Who was I kidding? I was gonna take the case, just so I could see her again. Her lipstick had marked me like it had marked my glass. The next day, I still couldn't get the dame off my mind. I decided I'd check out the house during the day when the occupants were asleep from the previous night's debauchery. I figured I'd enter in from the back door. As I went up the stairs, I wanted to make sure that the cops weren't following me. They tend to always make a mess of my investigations. I figured I'd check out the residences on the second floor, look for anything out of the ordinary. I was pretty surprised that a dame like Virginia would get caught up with a group like this. Then again, dames always surprise you. Hmm. Damn. Locked. I went towards the only open door, and a familiar scent pulled me in. Virginia's perfume permeated the air, and it led me towards the pillows. That's when I found something that I never thought I would find in a place like this. I started to feel that knot in my stomach, telling me something was wrong. It seemed like a perfect place for a lookout if anyone left the house. Who would need something like that? To clear my mind, I went through my usual routine. I did some grocery shopping, finished off my weekly banking, and even play a few holes of golf, but that didn't go so well. So I decided to cheer myself up with some 
low-fat frozen yogurt. When I went back to the scene of the evidence, I didn't know what to expect. Back again? Uh, <laughs> who are you? Nobody ever seems to know as the janitor. A janitor, you say? Did you by chance happen to hear a woman in this room? Maybe. Right, uh, a woman in this room recently. Yeah, I might have heard of uh, Mrs. Summers talking. Virginia Summers? What was she saying? I did hear Miss Summers talk to another man. Some murderous jive. Murderous jive, you say, huh? You have been vital to this investigation. Thank you very much. I figured out the truth, but that didn't make it any easier to swallow. She had committed murder, and I wanted nothing more to do with her. But that perfume... No. No. I had to clear my head. I was expecting her. Any minute. So have you found him yet, Detective? You know what I found out? I found out you played me. You played me like a sap. Just like you played your boyfriend. You had him killed off, you were going to have me killed off, and you were going to kill the guy off that kills us both. That's just how you operate. Ain't it, baby? I see you are the best detective. You've just got it all figured out, haven't you? So what if I killed him? What if I told you I never intended to kill you? What if I told you I killed him to be with you? That's malarkey, and you know it, baby. But it's not. It's the truth. You've got to believe me. I want to, but I just can't. That's a damn shame.